Hello everyone and welcome back and this will be a general weekly reading for the sign of Gemini for the week of March 31st and I would like to wish everyone a very happy Easter and I would like to give a very special thank you to everyone who has been subscribing to my channel and helping it grow and getting it noticed and for all the thumbs up on all the videos and the lovely comments thank you very much for doing that all right your first card out nice ace of cups so there's love here compassion creativity you got a lot of things on offer from the universe and it just seems like it's pouring more in the more that you accept and open yourself up the more the universe is bringing you more abundance things that you want to in your life in your surroundings if this is a relationship for some of you, you're making clear judgments. You, you're not putting on rose-colored glasses when it comes to this relationship. You're judging it fairly. You're actually seeing it for all its potential and its worth. And that's how you're moving forward with this. And the Five of Cups. Yeah, for some of you, it's you're, you know, spending a little bit of time Looking back at your past and some of the failures that's come into your life, dis things that have disappointed you, and you're realizing that it's okay to understand what your losses were and what you, you know, what you're grieving, but you're also smart enough to know that as you're looking back at your past and your disappointments, that there's much more better behind you in heading into the future. So you're just spending a little bit of time, you know going over your past I and mean, it is a holiday so that does happen but you're realizing you won't be there you won't be stuck there much longer and the sun card there it is <laughs> you know everything's starting to line up for you this week again you know you're starting to feel more optimistic and happy and more lucky in some cases for a lot of you like you know you went out and bought a scratch, scratch a win. It could be something that simple and you scratched it and you won 10 bucks. And, you know, so you're feeling inspired more this week to come out of the shadow, shine your light. Let the, let the people around you know what you are and what you bring to the table. And you have so much to offer. And, you know, you were dimming your light for a long time, but this is the time that you're actually opening up and they can see who you are so I really like that for you and the king of swords yeah you're definitely whatever you're doing this week you're thinking about it you're not just doing it you know you're you're not letting your heart run away with you you're actually thinking before you do the next steps in your life and you're telling yourself and you're being very honest with each step that you're thinking of considering doing, what it is that it's giving you back. So you're very much in charge of your emotions. And the hair font, yeah, look at that. For some of you, you may be talking to a mentor, somebody that, you know, you have a lot of respect for, you can trust, you know, they're not judging you, you can trust everything that you're saying to them in confidence will stay there. So, you know, there you go. You've decided that you want to do something more and in different areas of your life. And you're realizing that before I make this next step, maybe you're just talking it over in some cases with yourself, you know, because that's how you feel secure this week. And there's nothing wrong with that. Some of you are thinking of actually taking a course that you want it to take for a long time. You know, you're trusting your decisions making this week, which is really good. You know, if you don't have anybody else to talk to, you're making your own decisions because you're being very brutally truthful, not only with your questions, but your own answers to yourself. And sometimes that's okay, you know, if that's what it takes in order for you to make a step going forward, knowing that it's a step that is the right one for you. That's what you've decided to do. 
And the Fool card, look at you go. New beginnings. You know, you're realizing that anything is possible. So that's beautiful. You know, you're taking those next steps. You're starting over. You're realizing that it's time to step forward. No longer hold yourself in the past, but step yourself forward into the future. You know, this is your beginning in your next movement going forward. You're making sure that everything in your life is going a little bit smoother. You know, you're not hesitating so much. You're not overthinking a lot of things. You're just taking faith in yourself and making those next steps because you know that it will give you back more. Yeah, eight of swords. Yeah, you've held yourself back for quite some time. You know, negative thoughts, negative thinking. You know, these were self-imposed on yourself. So now you're realizing that it's time to release that. Let yourself go. Finally, forgive yourself and, and take the next step in your evolution. And that's what you're doing. You're thinking very positive this week of what it is that you want to bring in to your life. And you know that the only one who can do that now is you. And the Six of Pentacles. So there's, you know... You're learning to give and also receive from others because you're you're very giving, you know, you're trusting people, you're willing to share. This could be finances for some of you. You know, you're willing to help others, but you want them to try to help themselves. You're trying to teach them how to help themselves. So this is, you know, if somebody's, if you're the one always giving and nobody's giving you anything back, you're realizing that it's time to make a withdrawal from that situation because you don't want somebody to always just be giving you little bits of, you know, nothing and you just keep giving more. And the celebration, three of cups. That's very nice. You may be getting an invitation to go to a celebration, a birthday, an anniversary. This could be one that's being thrown for you, but you're going to be really happy. You're going to, you know, think about it before you go for sure. You know, but this is you actually, when you get there, you're going to be happy. These are going to be friends and it's going to feel like you just fit, you know. And that's really nice to see for you. Just letting your hair down and enjoying yourself and the celebration just for life itself. And the five of pentacles. Yeah, there's, you've had some financial setbacks, some losses, maybe some investments for some of you, but it's taught you what your next steps are. You know, it's not held you back because you're moving on from this. Maybe some people's given you some advice in the back and you took it and, oh, it didn't quite, you know, go the way the plan was supposed to go. Or this could have been an unexpected bill come up for some of you. You know, it happens in life. But whatever it is, it's caused you to worry a little bit more about your finances and your future and now you're realizing that you can't stay in that stuck mode you have to take the next step you can't always be in fear of loss in order to make gains and the ten of swords so some, uh, something has happened that's left a painful mark on you now this could be in you know so many areas of your life but it's a painful ending you know, you didn't want to do it. It's definitely left its mark. You've been betrayed here, you know, tossed to the wolves. And it's definitely taken you its toll. But you're realizing that, okay, there's been failure, but now I need to pick myself up again and get going. So you will do that. And once you stand upright and start making the steps in the right direction for yourself, you will shut the door on this. It'll never happen again to you because you won't let it. It's going to leave that much of a mark. Sorry for you. And the world card. Now yeah, look at you starting over. The universe is helping you. You've come to a crossroad in your life. You're letting the past go that way and you're going the other. You're starting over with a whole new, fresh perspective going forward you know you're looking further into the future you're making plans to travel and 
you're just happier. You give your, yourself a pat on the back and give yourself the right piece of advice and you're finding more comforts in different areas of your life moving forward. Yeah, and the tower card. Yeah, you definitely were stuck, but you made the right decision. You know, you've seen that light of what's coming at you and you've corrected the course to help yourself. Like this is your wake up call, you know it, and now you're protecting you. All right, I'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel or card, but your cards are all about movement, future, you know, unsticking yourself from different things in your life. All right. As you honor and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. Beautiful. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll talk to you again next week. Bye for now.